there are a lot of different options for ice cream in the Smoky Mountains, but for those who are looking for something a little different and a lot more local or unique, then I suggest you keep watching because we'll be talking about two places in Pigeon Forge that you might want to try on your next vacation. Welcome to Bear Facts, where we explore the Smoky Mountains one bear fact at a time. This will be part of a series of videos we're calling Ice Cream Wars because in each video we'll be looking at two different ice cream places that have very different and unique styles of, well, ice cream. Please keep in mind that this isn't going to be a review. I have left a link in the description if you're looking for reviews of both these places and if you want more of a personal count. Rather, I want to show you more about these places, talk about their differences, and give you enough information to hopefully help you plan your next trip to the Smoky Mountains. We'll be taking a closer look at Cruz Farm Dairy and the yard in this video. When you hear the name Cruz Farm Dairy, ice cream isn't the first thing you think of. You might think of cows and milk and you would be correct in that assumption. Cruz Farm began their humble origins in Knoxville, Tennessee as a dairy farm. And they're still a dairy farm with over 650 acres of land that they have preserved for farming and agricultural use. I use the word preserve as the Cruz family is highly active in the community. They're passionate about finding ways to keep local farms prosperous and preserving lands for future farming generations. The Cruz family is also extremely passionate about how they treat their cows and have high personal standards. They promote free roam cattle and they don't use pesticides. They are dedicated to the humane treatment of animals in their care. What makes them unique in this day and age is that they are a genuine farm to table establishment. Though they have four different ice cream locations in Knoxville, Tennessee area and one pizza joint, they consider themselves local and have no plans to push their business nationwide, stating that they want to keep their focus on the quality of the product. Cruz Farm Dairy recently opened one of their shops in the Sevierville area, not to be mistaken with Pigeon Forge. I'm sure that many locals feel a certain frustration when visitors assume they are the same, but they are two distinct cities. The shop is located off of 441 Parkway across the Changers Outlet. They aren't easy to spot from the road as they are up further from the road behind the Five Oaks Kitchen and Inn. They have a great parking area which they share with the Ogle Brother General Store and though they do have a few stair steps to navigate, there is a handicap access for those who need it. When you step into Cruz Farm Dairy Store, you are welcomed by a clean, wide space. Their main motif is red and white, the checkered pattern being the most prominent feature. They do like their consistency, as even the staff wear white and red checkered outfits. One of the things that sets Cruz Farm apart from other ice cream parlors is the simplicity of their menu. You aren't bombarded with overstimulating amounts of sugary choices. It's a basic menu without a lot of flair and pomp. Now, for some, this isn't a positive thing, but many people who are seeking simple and basic, it's extremely welcoming. Now, that's not to say they don't have variety and choices, but the focus here is on the quality of their product, not the quantity. They have a simple list of choices from brown butter, chocolate, sweet cream, and mocha, just to name a few. They also have different Dole Whips if you're looking for dairy-free. They have a wall of products and souvenirs you can purchase as well as a refrigerator of milks and hard ice cream flavors. If you're in the mood for their hard ice cream, it's $8 a pint sold from one of the cases. But keep in mind they are a dairy farm as well. They pride themselves on their flavored milks which you can also find in the refrigerator. Definitely something to try. On the menu, you see an assortment of items from milkshakes, floats, churns, dessert coffee products, ice cream cones, dishes, and sundaes. They have a list of toppings you can pick from including hot fudge, caramel, sprinkles, and many other common toppings. 
When you order the floats, you're given a generous amount of ice cream and a full bottle of soda of your choice. The last time we went, they were featuring their orange Fanta float. This is one of my favorite treats when we go there. One unique item on their menu is the soft serve twist menu. Where most places just have a chocolate and vanilla twist, these guys have up to six different flavor combinations to choose from. And they often have the Dole Whip twisted in one combination, giving you a fruity mix. These can change day to day and not always the same. While you eat your ice cream, you can either sit inside or outside where there are benches and other areas to enjoy your ice cream in the shade. When it comes to reviews, the most common complaint is the price. And when comparing their price to the average ice cream shop in small town America, they can be considered high. Two people will cost about $20 if you get more than a basic cone. But this is a fair price considering you are in a major tourist area. The next shop we're going to talk about is very different in their presentation and style. Where Cruise Farm is more laid back and simple, the yard is all kinds of crazy and over the top fun. Though they are not local to the area as Cruise Farm is, they are a business owned and operated by a couple who work their way to success, gaining some notoriety on the Shark Tank for their ideas. They have since branched out, owning and operating 23 businesses across the United States. The yard is located in Pigeon Forge. Yes, it's actually in Pigeon Forge, not Sevierville, but it's on the same road, 441. It's located up and behind the Paula Deen's Lumberjack View. It's inside a larger plaza, which also has a movie theater, dining, and shopping options. The parking lot isn't quite as convenient as Cruise Farm as they are sharing it with a whole lot more businesses and can get a little crowded when the Lumberjack is doing their show or has a full house. What makes the yard so much more different than Cruise Farm is their menu. Where Cruise Farm is simple and elegant, the yard is insane and over the top. Both have their advantages and disadvantages depending on the kind of day you're having. When you get a dessert at the yard, you're really buying an experience. They place a high value in presentation and variety. Their menu features a wide array of hard ice creams and milkshakes, but they also have a wide variety of other things on their menu as well. If you want to take a closer look at the menu, you can find a link in the description. When you enter the shop, you're given a full menu of different and unique choices, from chocolate strawberry swirl to the mermaid. The desserts are highly themed and very colorful. Each one topped and packed with fun treats stacked with additions to make the milkshake or ice cream scream with character and personality. When we had the peanut butter bliss, we got a full brownie on top of the ice cream, drizzled in chocolate and peanut butter sauce and a can of whipped cream to complete the ensemble. The brownie would have been a complete dessert all on its own, so we ended up just sharing it. We got the ice cream version of the dessert, but if you wanted the mason jar, then you would have to order the milkshake version. Each dessert is offered in both ice cream and milkshake, but you only get the mason jar with the milkshakes. Though the milkshakes are on the pricey side, they do come with the souvenir mason jar to take home. And there's a wide selection of fun and unique milkshakes to choose from each coming with a wave of toppings that could be eaten as their own dessert. They have sinks in the back of the restaurant for you to use to clean your jar, or at least enough to rinse it out to get home. The water was cold when we went, which made cleaning a little bit more difficult. Their desserts are very Instagrammable, each crafted beautifully and presented with care and thought. What I found truly impressive is they offered the calorie count for these colossal size sugary inventions. And you might want to ignore those large numbers below the desserts if you're trying to watch your waistline. One thing I would highly suggest before going is to look at the menu ahead of time. It's a very extensive menu and you might need a few extra minutes to make your selection. This way you are ready to order when you reach the counter. When we went, it was during their slow time and we didn't have much of a wait. I imagine that when it's busy, they can get extremely backed up and having your order selection ready will make things go quicker. 
Now that I've covered both places, here are my takeaways for each. Let's start with comparing pricing. First off, both are more expensive than your typical backcountry ice cream shop. A family of four could easily cost over $60 at the yard if everyone ordered their own item and picks the milkshakes. But you could also easily share a dessert, saving a ton of money. They have so many toppings on them that it makes it easy to portion them out. Cruise Farm is much less expensive, but the desserts might not be as shareable. It really depends on who you are with and what you both want. When talking about location, Cruise Farm has the advantage of being out of the way and off the main drag. This makes parking easier and more convenient. Also, being attached to the Ogle Brother General Store gives you something to do while eating your ice cream. The yard has a large parking area, but since it's attached to more shops, attractions, and restaurants, they can get a lot more busy. And it's not always a quick hop out of your car to the ice cream shop. When it comes to choice and variety, the yard has Cruise Farm beat by at least a yard, but the overwhelming options of choices can also be an issue. When the choices are so vast, guests have a hard time selecting something and the lines and wait time are much higher. Their complex desserts are harder to make and it can take longer to get to you. If you have little ones, they might not appreciate the wait either. Cruise Farm has a more basic menu which helps make things move more swiftly and can be less stressful for some people. The final takeaway I have for these two locations is this. They are both on Route 441, easy access, and have good reputations. We have enjoyed eating at both locations, but if you need to choose just one, it might come down to selection and what kind of experience you're looking for. If you want a laid back, easy experience with little or no hassle, Cruise Farm might fit your needs more. But if you're more adventurous, like to Instagram your experiences, and love to have lots of choices, the yard might be a better fit. My suggestion is to try both and make up your mind later. They are two very unique and different experiences and comparing them isn't fair to either business. If you have been to either place and want to make suggestions in the comment below, helpful tips and takeaways are always welcome. And as always, I hope you have enjoyed this edition of Ice Cream Wars with Bear Facts. Please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to help others find us and help our channel grow.